Hey, how you doing guys? The Zedai here. So I wanted to discuss this regarding of the Hellblade 2 that's only going to be available on Xbox Series X and of course the PC, but on a console, well, as a 30 FPS only. This is genuinely is a big surprise. A first party game and yet only be available as 30 FPS. Why we keep seeing this situation for Xbox? Like seriously, Microsoft completely given up on their console and on their uh, consumers. It's genuinely by the looks of things that is really is the case. Starfield was one and that's one of the most anticipated games and look how that turned out to be with only 30 FPS and yet also, well a little, not a little bit, it was quite a disappointing uh, Bethesda game as well. And yet then we're seeing Hellblade 2 and yet that is also one of the more anticipated games that is also 30 FPS with the confirmation that it will not have any options to include the 60 FPS. What is going on there? It's been mentioned as well that it's gonna have a, a more feel towards the cinematic. It, no, that's just bullshit, that's pathetic reasoning as well, and it's been done multiple times. That is not the reason why they decided to go. Maybe it's laziness, maybe Xbox platform, the console is not powerful enough, but it looks at things from Digital Foundry, from lots of other people's testings as well, from third party games included, and games that released on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Yet Xbox Series X is the more powerful you know, console, but yet PlayStation 5, it runs the best on pre pretty much every other game out there runs best on PlayStation. Even Xbox games that finally released on PlayStation 5 that they were exclusive at first, they run better on PlayStation 5. It's just such a decision making here, it's so questionable. And now we're seeing with Hellblade 2, a lot of people's most anticipated, and this game is inferior by, by comparison's sake, if we were making comparison, of course the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, uh, it's very weird decision. And yet this decision to make a more cinematic feel so if that is the case, why did you not lock the 30 FPS on PC, right? It's it's a stupid reasoning. There's just no way to go about this. This is not an excuse. And then there's also, why is there no option to go for 60 FPS? Reduce your resolution then. It's There is no issues there. Like bloody Gorilla Games making Horizon games that look like as good as Hellblade 2. Maybe even Horizon games uh, looks even better than Hellblade 2. Maybe, I'm not sure. Of course, we haven't seen the final product of the launch of the game of Hellblade 2, right? And so, but another thing, another thing. <laughs> Horizon is an open world game and that includes 60 FPS as well. And it still is a looker and looks maybe some ways even better than Hellblade 2, but as of, as of this moment, of course. And yet, this is no excuse. This is the reasoning why something is going on behind the background that we're not aware of. Starfield was the same case now we're seeing with Hellblade 2. Afterwards then I'm seeing so many defenders, you know, like Xbox fans, of course. I mean, it makes sense. There's always going to be a console wars or anything like that. And they're mentioning it, it doesn't matter then. Look at the uh, Helldivers too. Like, if they know what they were even talking about, because <laughs> Helldivers 2 actually has a 60 FPS on PlayStation 5. So that's not much of a reasoning at all, because if you have an option, that's a different story. If Hellblade 2 has an option, I wouldn't even be making this video now. I would have said, okay, whatever, it's fine. Like you have an option, that's awesome. You can play 60 FPS or 30 FPS with the sacrifice of the uh, resolution, for example. Helldivers 2 has that, but yet Hellblade doesn't. What is the decision making there? It's just that the decision that they decided because they don't have enough time. What were they doing like for the past five years since the announcement of Hellblade 2? It genuinely is a very interesting conversation definitely to have. And yet Xbox, seriously, they are having problems. A lot of problems. This is also the main reasoning why they're moving away from the console platforms and stuff like that. And at this point, I feel like they're going to be becoming a company of like producing games and nothing else. Hardware, I think they should be done with that because they're just genuinely missing every darn time whenever they release their first party title games. That's like a very, very weird decision to make here. I'm telling you, man, like Game Pass is such a bad thing for consumers. At first you would think, oh my God, it's the best thing. It's definitely worth it 100%. So many games to play practically but completely for free. 
I agree with that. But then when you look deeper and then you uh, take your time and see what is actually got in store, well, it's one trash after another because there's are plenty of really bad games that people just simply don't play, but they stay subscribed. And because of this, what is the point of having big titles, multi-million dollars titles to develop on one particular game and putting all that time and effort if you're only going to be making a little bit of money due to the Game Pass? You see, this is also a positive, there's cons and pros towards everything. It's literally as a slap to the face to the fans of Xbox. I, f I genuinely feel bad for them. And the decision to make as well with the no 60 FPS really, really is questionable. On top of that, we are also hearing that Ninja Theory's co-founder and Hellblade writer director uh, Tamim Antonia, that's hopefully I'm not butchering his name, he's left the company. <laughs> He left Ninja Theory. It's like as if we haven't heard anything relating to that and, and was good news. This genuinely is something going on behind the background that we're not aware of, and it's not good. Now sure you may ask me, why does this matter to you? Since you meant like, you know, I'm a PlayStation, you know, fan more than Xbox, of course. Like I said in my many other videos as well relating towards Xbox. I want to see a competition for PlayStation. Because PlayStations are actually gonna get a lot more ignorant and arrogant. And they're just going to be becoming far more anti-consumer. And I just don't want this. Competition is good. And it's good for the consumers. Uh, well, whatever, I guess. At this point, it seems like, well, Xbox completely given up on Even on, like, not just as a competition, but even on their own fan base. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys all. And have a wonderful day.